Hi everyone, hope that you are well. Uh, so in today's video we will um, speak about the lighting solution for a, for a classroom. As I don't have a DVG file which I will import um, for today uh, lighting concept, I choose already a room planning and you just define by choosing this option in Dialux Evo you just define the, the width, length and the height of the, the room that you are um, planning to, to use for the, for the lighting calculation. So I have done already this step, I will just click on the classroom uh, and the space will, uh, will load in a couple of seconds and then we can dive in the space together as you can see already uh, a 3d rendering uh, of the of the classroom now we have the the to do 2d rendering so we have a width for example we can just go use the meters we have eight meters and by seven so we have a classroom of approx of 56 square meters um, I choose already the the furniture I made also I choose already the, the lighting calculation I can stop it in this moment and I can we will do together the the, the calculation uh, of the of the space and see the see the the result so we have a uh, related the furniture we have a uh, can be a blackboard can be a whiteboard but the uh, importance is the that we have uh, the dimension the width is two meters by 1.5 meters and position to one meter height then i put a flip chart then we have a table which uh, with a single, let's say a single child will, will, will sit on, on the table and the distance between two desks it's one meter or prox one meter so all around it's 1.8 the other one and also here is 1.13 so that was also um, it's bear in mind it's very important to have one meter between um, two, two, two desks um and as well to to the other one so that's the was the, the related to the layout of the furniture so we have in this i would call it a small classroom a number of uh, only 12 uh, uh, kids let's say or yeah i would presume that it's uh for, for i choose actually um if we go on defining the lighting parameters, it's the, the classroom. And then on the light, I define the space as being a work plan, a classroom. Then we have uh, the height of uh, 0.8 meters. And you see the educational, the space is educational buildings and the classroom. And you want to check which are the requirements related to the illuminance and it's we can see that it's 300 lux level um, uniformity 0.6 and it's very important to have um, luminaires which have a unified glare ratio below 19 but if you have for example uh, you can choose also a classroom for evening class in an adult education and then you see you have different requirements so the illuminance is going up to 500 lux uh, compared with what I selected uh, in my case only to 300 and here another uh, which is uh, another uh, classroom that you can choose so for me I will just go on the, on the just conventional classroom so these are the parameter lighting parameters which I will I will focus to fulfill for this um, lighting concept good saying this then uh, I choose also um, a different luminaires. I can just dive in a little bit on the on the luminar side. Um, let's go on the light. So you can see that 
I have chosen a luminaire, let's say for the general lighting, which has a it's mounted suspended, so will be suspended mounted as you can see also on this rendering. And what is important that I want to highlight is that we have a in also direct part, of course, for the for the task area, but also an indirect um, com lighting component. I would say um, I think it's very important to have also um, the light to the to the ceiling, so giving us a more let's say little more light to all the to the ceiling as well and then uh, maybe you you know or heard about the avoiding the cave effect this means you you have the space it's more bright so you give uh, also a, a feeling of, um, of of bigger space uh, better better illumination of course and also uh, as I said uh, early uh, better brightness all over the the place so this is the my proposal solution of course depend on the ceiling maybe you go for su surface mounted or even recessed but usually in, in schools you go in sus suspended or um, surface mounted so for the blackboard or whiteboard i choose also the luminaire suspended one but this one different and different meaning it has an asymmetric lighting distribution the other ones used for the general lighting they have a symmetric but the one which is used for uh, blackboard or the whiteboard has a asymmetric lighting distribution here we need to have a lux level around 500 lux and also a good uniformity around 0.6 because yeah the kids or the people uh, which are going to school uh, the main attention will be around the blackboard what the teacher is re it's writing and they they will copy or they need to, uh, to see very clearly what are the the letter or the numbers written on the on the whiteboard or blackboard depending on the case by case so good saying this i will just run the lighting calculation uh, as you have seen previously um, we need to to have a lux level of 300 lux and um, uniformity of 0.6 we need solution um, i believe that uh, the lighting parameters will be fulfilled without any any concern uh, just a, another respect if you are, you want to use also suspended um, solution but just direct light so you don't use the indirect component that it's also possible there are luminaires in the market which will provide only uh, the direct light and not also the indirect so now you can see also how nice is looking the ceiling or oh, yeah we have more uniformity to the to the ceiling and also focus on the on the whiteboard and if i put here the the mouse you can see the levels on downside now we have 554 yeah so this asymmetric lighting is, is quite good so we have a good uh, good uh, illuminance level on of the of the blackboard or the whiteboard so overall we had uh, we have obtained a 381 lux and also uniformity of 0 0.8 and yeah i would say at the height of um, 0. 8 meters and if we want to see as well again the light distribution or the false colors we can see actually how it looks the yeah the work plan on the desk we have on the the white board black blackboard and also up to the ceiling on the ceiling yeah we, we see a little bit of um, hot spots i would say here on the on the top but yeah 
I think it's much better to have, uh, especially all the all the classrooms more light. It's it yeah, just bring more. Um, uh, let's say more close to the natural feeling when you are going outside so to have um, a lot of you uh, a lot of brightness and not dark ceilings and yeah just light on on the task area so that's that's related to the false colors now we can see also the lighting distribution for the for the general lighting and also suspended so that's that's the component yeah so i hope that you enjoyed this video if you have any questions related to the lighting solution for a classroom just let me know write into the comments um and yeah feel Feel free to, to ask also um, other questions related to the, to the lighting for different applications, uh, no problem. Um, and if, as I said, please subscribe to my channel, give a like and thank you for your attention and I wish you a good day.